Chicago, so we see the Michiganders show up Michiganders? quite often. Yep. Oh my goodness, we need to change that name. But speaking of changing <laughs> names, we have Zenodo trying to take out Nairo. This looks like a button check. Yeah, it's looking like a button Kind of be guessing. And another, another little quick blurb I want to throw in, though, before we get into it, is that Fortunately, Ally was not able to make the tournament. We're really sad to not have him here. Uh, yeah. But he was able to get LASIK surgery, fix his eyes, make him uh, even better at finding those up smashes in brackets. So I uh, hope you're recovering very well, Ally. I'm pretty confident you that you're watching this. You don't need eyes to up smash five <laughs> times in a row. That's actually, <laughs> I, don't, I feel like that's a, both an anti and an ally thing. I was watching a set and, and anti was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, if he does one more time, whoa, boom, gets a kill. What? But well, good stuff to Ally. Um, definitely take care of yourself. I hope to see you back soon at EVO. Yeah. In like two weeks. You'll, I think you'll be at Arms Saga and EVO, so that should be fun. Man, these guys just really don't want to play on Smash Bros. Or are they getting into it? Oh, finally. Here we go. Looks like it's going. This is game number one. Zenodo versus Nairo. Loser will get fifth place. And again, Nairo. We saw the chip on his shoulder in his loser's round of eight match versus Cosmos. Just really, like, kind of putting him out to pasture. Going in for, like, crazy reads. Going for, like, a down air. Spike on the Corrin's recovery, but this is a Zenodo who looked in really good shape versus Zero, even though he was not able to clutch out the set. Wow, that was very nice by Zenodo, going for a second Tomahawk in a row, but Nairo reading through that and just spot dodging, getting a punish. However, this is very heavily in Zenodo's favor, and not going to be KO just yet. One more down so two up smash will KO though. Second to get the grab, throwing uh, throwing Nairo off the stage. That banana saving Zeno from maybe one of those burst options we were talking about before the set. Oh my gosh, I'm loving Zeno's playstyle right now. Just sitting there, holding shield, waiting for Nairo to do something silly. What Whoa! What? You know what? Do something silly yourself. If you're not going to do something silly, I'm going to do it silly. <laughs> a side B off the All stage. Right. Not uh, wasting a second jump, so he wasn't able to jump back. Um, he SD'd, but he was able to kill Nairo in the long run. Now, you know. know. Trade. Yeah, that was... About 100% difference between those two. Oh no. But it does not matter. Zenodo still winning the neutral very strongly against Nairo. Nairo really needs to grab. There it is. Just gonna get the, uh, looking for a reset there with the B reverse um, standard B. That was clean coming out from Zenodo. After that neutral, he just shielded. Most people like to drop shield thinking, oh, what in the world? How <laughs> did he get that grab? If this is a KO, I don't know what to say. Nah, yes. not gonna KO on Diddy Kong unless you get like some some auto link shenaniganry. Diddy Kong surprisingly heavy, heavier than you'd think he'd be for a tiny little monkey. Oh, that that flip kick was almost enough, and the turnaround. Nairo. Zenodo lost neutral about three times in a row, and that's where Nairo was able to take over. There was a couple times where Zenodo had game backstage control, getting back to the center, and then he just got paralyzed. Zenodo was playing aggressive, was working versus Nairo in the beginning, but. Nairo saw through it, just backed up a little bit, did the down smash, and got the KO. That was clean, though. He ran past him in that smash. Yeah, very clinical play from Nairo. It really felt like his punishes were crisp, super crisp. Looking to continue his life here, sends the Noto out in fifth place. Again, I'm very happy he picked a character like this compared to when he first used to main Robin. Very slow character. Felt like that wasn't necessarily the character for him. But now he has a character that can run pretty fast, and is very explosive, just what he, or how he was in Brawl. Ooh. There aren't really many top tier characters in this game that are slow. Like, yeah. the slowest ones are probably like Mario. Falco. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, I'm messing around. <laughs> <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> Ooh, buddy. Ooh. Possibly missed that second jump for the up air. Oh, and no. And sending him to the drink here on Smashville. That is Nairo making, like you said, this is mad Nairo. <laughs> Uh, you might notice, guys, that Zero likes to up B really far away from the stage, and it's to avoid stuff like that. Up B recovery is so good, you're just able to up B, and most likely people can't punish you. You side B, it is very predictable, and you'll get hit by stuff like that and die really early. Very well said, Kitaro. Okay. Thank you for the insight on Monkey Flip and how it is super punishable when yeah. players like Nairo are just so good like you're at knowing where it's coming. You'll rarely see Zero actually do the Monkey Flip below the stage. He'll do it above the stage knowing you can hit him, maybe, but if you don't hit him, he gets, he gets stage control and he's exactly where he wants to be. Banana into shield is a true combo, and he's going to finish it off with a forward air. Very clean here from Zenodo. All started just by plucking that banana and then forcing an option from Nairo. Wow, doing that paralyze, paralyze with B attack, but not able to get a follow-up wasn't a charge paralyzer or charged enough to be able to get a follow-up. Again, like you said in the zeros and notice set, ledge canceling the monkey flip, making sure there's no ending lag to speak of. 
no opportunity for Nairo to punish. Yeah. Zeno is fighting his way back into this claw and tooth and nail. Yeah, Zeno's trying really hard, but um, I'm not seeing too much use of Banana. Earlier we were, but now Zeno's just looking for the grab. Because at this point, the neutral of Zero Suit Samus is grab or possibly neutral air. So if he can see through those, he'll be able to get a clean punish, but my goodness. Speaking of those auto links, scary stuff, but Zenodo gonna just barely live on the top, but not gonna live from that one. Wow. Zenodo going a little too aggressive, deciding to run in and try to get the grab, missed the grab, and that's where Nara was able to punish and get that down throw to back air. Uh, if he had just stayed away, it would have been okay. He had the banana out, so he could have just ran back, got the banana, but he just wanted to grab and throw him off stage, then to go get the banana. Currently 2-0 in favor of Nairo. Zenodo was bringing it back really well after getting a uh, foot kick earlier, though. Again, we've seen uh, we've seen Zenodo get pretty aggressively punished every time he tries to turn on the aggression. That was his case in the in the zero set too, when he tried to start being aggressive. Zero saw through it. Like the passive play was working a little bit better. But okay, we got a Geo combo coming in. All quick, 34%. Now we're gonna sneak away from the second back here. That reminds me of how Zero or Zenodo knew how to do the infinite with Diddy Kong. One of the only top player Diddy Kongs that did the infinite in the game. Like ADHD wouldn't even do it. Uh -huh. So, um, good stuff to Zenodo for learning that trick, getting that extra percent. What? 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 Okay. I think he buffered forward air. Yeah, it looked like he tried fell? to use second jump or something, but he fast fell. Second jump did not come out. So it'll be really hard for Nairo to bring us back. But this is Zero Suit Samus, and this is Nairo. So one up B. No. Now it's going to look to try and reset with another series of up airs. Going to react appropriately when the up air doesn't land. But uh, this is the ledge trap scenario. Going to eat away the uh, the tether grab. No chance here for Nairo to find Solus on the ledge. I love how Zenodo's just wait, always waiting for those jab attacks. So wait for the first two hits to jab and get the grab instead of trying to counter it or hit it. And that might just be a KO. Ooh, Sparks flew. But excellent oh. DI, but the chase! Nairo! Coming right back. Zenodo cannot sleep for a second on this man. He might as well just take side B out of his category for moves because <laughs> Nairo's reading through it every time. Whether you go low or high, good stuff to Nairo on that one. Zenodo should still be able to win this unless he just keeps getting grabbed over and over. Yeah, Zenodo has been just having oh a hard time getting God. any kind of offense started at the moment. Wow, Zenodo actually trying to attack that up air that was obviously coming and able to live through that. That was scary. Thought, I thought that had a chance of KOing, but it looks like Nairo's gonna stay alive. And this is a forward air. Okay, not enough yet. Good di DI coming out from Nairo that time around. It was pretty obvious he was going for that forward air. Ooh. Oh, the banana gonna buy some time here for Zeno to get back on the stage and set up for the down tilt RAR back air. Still in the stock, getting Z on the board. Looking to, again, be in another situation where he has to reverse 3 0 to stay alive. Yep, and that's top level Diddy Kong knowledge right there. Going for down tilt to. Rar back air, good stuff to Zenodo, getting that around 120%, that's usually where it KOs, even uh, without rage. So good stuff to him realizing that, knowing that up smash probably would not have reached due to the fact that Zero Suit Samus was hit off the stage, will we see reverse 3-0? Oh no, platforms, and a low ceiling, so <laughs> we'll <laughs> see. definitely looking in Nairo's favor regarding stage counterpick, but if Zenodo can play like how he did that last match, he might be able to take it. You know, Zenodo has to win on Town & City twice. Oh, gosh. To stay alive and get a rematch with Captain Zack. Oh gosh. <laughs> this is a scary bracket, Pizarro. Yeah, very scary. Ooh, clean punish coming out right there. I guess Nairo's looking out for that roll coming out from Zenodo. Diddy Kong is a fast roll, so a lot of Diddy Kongs love to roll. Uh huh, and we're, like we were saying, Nairo doesn't have like the greatest roll coverage options when you try to cross up from behind. But <laughs> this doesn't care. Gonna be enough. Goodness gracious, a clean early KO coming out from Nairo. Town and City, a little shocked that Zenoda did not decide to ban it. Maybe he's afraid of Lilat. Uh, Lilat would have been an option, of course. Yeah. But this is Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong does usually win the neutral against a character like Zero Suit Samus. But you gotta win the neutral time and time again. You're already on the back foot, and here comes. Ooh, oh, Lord. all right. Calm down. Relax. And he saw through the side B again. Once again, I do think that Zenodo might need to take side B out of his collection of moves. Yeah, it's not working out for him too hot here. Nairo getting a bunch of mileage off of this and gonna set up oh into a back air. Lord, the DI mix up. That was a strong DI mix up. I do not think Zenodo was ready for that. He thought, oh, maybe he'll up air me. What, he back threw me back air? It was just something that Zenodo was not able to react to. So look at Zenodo, what? Yeah, he, he looks, he's kind of rolling his eyes, but he's like, yeah, you got me. 
in Zeno's one of the first to admit when he gets outplayed like that, and Nairo again just looking so determined to make it to grand finals today at Midwest Mayhem 9 despite the early being sent to losers. He